there, guys and gals. Rob here to Lux Gaming, and guess what? It's Friday! Jim Bob, it's Friday. You know what that means? That means we get to play video games all weekend long. Jim Bob, you're a snowman. You can't play video games, silly snowman. All right, so, um, I've been busy. <laughs> so, I've been experimenting with how to input all of this ore into our base and, of course, then process it, refine it into its... Uh, into its into bars and then separate those bars into their appropriate places and then of course bring that down into our fancy schmancy research uh, pr research uh, research pod construction area re research pod manufacturing area so as you can see I've been very 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 busy I've got a lot of stuff going on here now none of this is is actually well I mean it's working hold on why is that smoking like that <laughs> Sorry, I mean, there's no... What I was about to say is that there's no power coming into this system yet. So, in other words, all these research... All these uh, uh, research pod assemblers are not actually working yet because... Uh, uh, of course, there's no power down here. We're get, That's one of the things we're going to do today. It's one of the things that I was about to do, but I thought, you know what? I should actually record record some of what I've done down here. I mean, I've spent hours putting this together. Hours. So each one of these setups is identical. But as you can see, we've got this one is taking uh, copper. This one is lithium. This one is gold, I believe. This one is titanium. This one is nickel. This one is tin. And this one on the end here is now iron. Whew! It was a lot of work to get this all set up. As a matter of fact... Um, behind the scenes. So if you look, if you look up top here, now none of so the uh, ah ah. So up top now, of course, we are processing each and every single ore either I, on its own. So tin has its own smelting area. Uh, iron has its own smelting, although that wouldn't be necessary. I mean, I could merge the the iron in with the tin and make use of you know multiple smelters for that. I have the nickel, the titanium, and the gold coming in on one smelt area. Area. So this took a little bit of finagling to get right. So I've got the all of the raw ores coming into these three storage hoppers. And because it's so slow to move from to, to take ore out of a storage hopper and move it into another storage hopper or into the line, I figured we could attach have three three storage hoppers and of course have three separate exits, which is working well. It's actually keeping these three storage hoppers are empty all the time, which is exactly what we want. And these three are uh, have just enough ore in them to keep these these smelters running. Now I, I'm a little concerned with this with this line here because we're only operating at a hundred ore per minute. And I'm not getting any gold upstairs, so I don't know what the problem is because apparently these these pipes, according to Bubba, these pipes can handle 150 ore per minute. So uh, there must be a problem down below, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And then of course we have I have my lithium and my copper working together uh, using one smelter. That's fine. I mean. We're, we're not going through enormous amounts of, of either of those, especially copper. I mean, we could theoretically, I mean, merging our lithium in with our iron would be good. It, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point here is that each one of these is separated by uh, two spaces and all the way down. So there's two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces, two spaces. Anyway, except for the iron down here at the end. And anyway, the top line, the lines here don't match up with the bottom. So in other words... In order to make all of this, whoops, in order to make all of this connect with the area down below, I had to make things a little bit fancy. So there we've got our, uh, that would be our, that should be our iron. No, our iron, no, it, it goes iron and then it goes tin. Our tin is coming down here and then our nickel and then our titanium and then our gold, which we have none of for some strange reason. I don't know why. I need to go see what's going on there. And then we have our lithium and then our copper all going down so they, they all, i had to change where they were going in like where their inputs were so yeah a little bit of finagling there but yeah that's all working okay cool so the next thing on the list is to get this thing actually running because once this is running i never have to worry about you know pods again this is it this is it so here's the thing um if you remember up top we have our coal line running pretty much throughout the entire base, which is really, really handy. So we've been able to build these 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 power nodes up top all over the place. So there's no reason why we can't use that same line, which I have access to. I have a port right here, ready to go. Um, use that same line to power all of this downstairs. So I was thinking what we're going to do is we're going to build a power, an upside down power node. <laughs> I, I hope this will work. I think so. I think I've got everything I need. I built a lot of power storage block twos, some Mark II lasers, all that kind of good stuff. So first things first, we need to put down our, um, 
our mini mini hoppers because the mini hoppers are awesome for building power nodes we're gonna do a full nine because i mean there's seven there's seven research pod assemblers down here all of them can use a quite a bit of power so i figure a full node was would probably be a good idea now, in my in my world a full node is nine nine blocks so i think we'll do the pyrothermic generators we're gonna put a layer of those of course also today, I want to start working. Uh, there's, uh, there's another. There's a way to enrich our coal apparently to make it better, to make it offer more power, and we should have everything we need now to actually get that going. All we needed to get that going was uh, some, some bug parts, and we've got a lot of bug parts kicking around now. So I think we'll do power storage block twos on this side, power storage block twos on this side, and I'll explain why in a second. And down the center, we'll just use power storage block ones because I don't think it's necessary to use the power storage block twos in the center. Now, so the reason I did that, um, so on the ends of these, so with this node, um, we're going to be attaching, uh, oh, actually, we need, so we need to do a, ah, uh, right, the reason I built so many power storage blocks, right, so we need to put a power storage block two beside every one of these uh, research pod assemblers, haha, <laughs> like that, I wonder if I can just kind of stand back here and, ah, oh, right, Right, right. I put a hole in between every single one because I figured I'm going to need a hole. But you know what? I'll be right back. Okay, so now we have a power storage block 2 attached to every single research pod assembler. Now we have to get power to the research pod assemblers. And that's why I did the power storage block 2s on the sides because they're going to be able to draw... Uh, power very quickly from each other. So basically, the, all the power is going to be coming from the end ones. Uh, I think I need to do actually a layer of just regular blocks here so that I have a place to put the uh, lasers. So let's see, right like that. That should be good. And then we can put a laser right on the end here. And we're going to use the Mark II lasers because... Because yeah, I just they're they're just I don't have to worry then. So then with the power storage blocks too, they should be able to transfer power very quickly from each other all the way down the line, as well as draw from these center blocks too as well, very quickly too as well. And then we can transfer at a rate of 40 power per second from this laser into this power storage block, which is going to transfer transfer power down this way through the hole into this power storage block, which is going to transfer power from that power power storage block to this power storage block. <laughs> See what I'm getting at? That's kind of cool, eh? And then we're going to do another one launching out from... Actually, we only need... I don't know. I, I, it's probably better if we do two. So we're going to do another power storage block, too. So just... Uh, uh, see, I don't know. So now I feel like I'm wasting... Now, nah, let's just do another laser. Yeah, I don't know if that was the best choice or not. But we're going to do it that way. Because cause, cause that's what I, I want to do it that way. That's why. <laughs> and then we're going to do another laser coming out of here. Yeah! I think it looks pretty cool, man. I think it looks pretty cool. Once you get something actually finished like this, it's such a good feeling, too. Like, oh my god. Like, I've been building... Honestly, guys, I've probably spent another, you know, two, three hours building this again. <laughs> Last night. Like, before bed, you know, it's, it's something I do. I just, you know, it's really relaxing. I don't know why this is so relaxing. Like, there's really not a lot of pressure in this game. I mean... Of course, I want to. I want to get things done. There is no doubt. I want to get things done. But that's one of the things about Fortress Craft Evolved. Is aside from when you're being attacked all the time, you do have, kind of have to monitor that stuff. But aside from when you're being attacked all the time, there's really not a lot of pressure. So I think is that is that working? So that should be transferring power to this power storage block. So it's getting power. Is it putting power into the? Oh, it's all working! Oh, wait, wait, wait. That's why. Because... Because the uh, the research is actually working now. So... I wonder if that's even enough juice. That might not even be enough juice. We may actually have to... <laughs> I never... I thought that would be enough. So maybe we'll, we'll, we'll actually have multiple... Uh, like, we're... Because, see, this first research pod assembler is using up all of that power. So maybe, maybe what we've got to do, and, you know, I'm not all that surprised, but maybe we've got to do this, right? Um, rather than, rather than having them like that, but I can only do another three like that. Oh, man. <laughs> this is, uh, this is, this is interesting. 
Um, I wonder. I wonder if this one can handle the the two. So in other words, this one is going to be powering this research pot, pot assembler and this one. I don't know. I don't know if that's that's going to work or not. But it's definitely not enough to power more than that. So we're going to have to go have to put this one. Oops. Oh, I need more of them. Ah, oh, that's why. Yeah, now these Mark IIs are, are expensive, but now that we've got... Oh, I can actually build that right here. Now that we've got... Now that we've got nickel and titanium coming upstairs all the time, it's actually, it's not bad. I've got tons of nickel and titanium. I mean, we're going to need a lot more, of course, but, you know, I mean, now we've, it's, it, that panic is over. I'm not running up and down all the time, and, and, and it's just so much better. So much better. Um, okay, so let's throw this one down. Uh, nope. Ah! Okay, nope, we're going to put that one right here. And this one, you know what? Actually, we've got it. Yeah, because we can do. No, you know what? We're going to do this one here. This one here. And this one here. Yeah, because that's the right amount. That'll work. That'll work. That'll work. And then we can get rid of this one. And then the power is coming directly from the power storage or the, the node, the power node that I've built here. Like that. Right? That makes sense problem is each one of these I don't need to be using the the mark twos I think the mark twos is actually gonna cause a problem here I guess it's not gonna matter as long as they're all mark twos but then I guess you know it's gonna divert the the most the most power used so in other words once this thing gets going in we've got all of our power oh look at them look at them starting to come in once we've got all of our our power storage or not a power storage our storage hoppers full of these pods and then when I activate research, whatever research uh, I'm built, I'm doing, it's going to draw the most power in the areas that we need it once everything's kind of maxed out. Right at the beginning here, it's going to use as much power as it can possibly take because it's just going to use a lot of power. <laughs> like just, it's going to use an enormous amount of power because, because everything needs power right now. Like the whole system needs power. So uh, as time goes on, it'll start to balance out a little bit better, I think, I hope. <laughs> um, so we just need two on this side, like that. And like I said, it could be using the Mark 1s that might be a little bit better, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is right now. We'll try that. Everything should have power now, though. And getting power at pretty much the same rate all round. And these, yeah, these suckers are just working like crazy. And they're going to continue to work like crazy until we get at least 100 pods in each one of these pods. Uh, uh, storage blocks up here let's just take a look so this is this is our research laboratory and now we have seven uh storage blocks all the way around which will receive their corresponding um experimental pods isn't that cool isn't that cool i think that's the coolest thing ever so now guess what research i no longer have to manually do anything for research it's all going to be automated assuming this is all going to be this all works and i th i think we're good I think we're good, but I'm gonna have to come down here and check. I gotta make sure that these lines are correct. They all look they all look good though. And you know, I've tried to make it look fairly nice. Like it looks even, it looks symmetrical, it looks I don't know, I like it. I like it. I think it looks pretty good. The only thing, like I said, that wasn't even or right was uh was, you know, having you know, I, I might still move all this downstairs, um, this whole refining area, because I don't know, it's not even, like, this This line going down has to be moved over and then go, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's all working right now. That's all that matters right now. Okay, and this thing's going to use a ton of power, so we're probably going to get attacked a lot. But that's okay. So, next thing on the list, let's get some research going. Yay! Now, oh, and we've got advanced logistics done. Great. Uh, what's our next plan? I think power, 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 power. I think the next level of power would be really good. So ultimate experimental pods, simplified experimental pods, and basic experimental pods, it's all good. It's all good. It doesn't matter anymore because I don't have to worry about building them myself. I can just click, uh, I can just go research. And yes, this is an next power, advanced power grid. Uh, we didn't actually read it. Let's read what it says because that's what we do. We read things. All right. The advanced materials we have recently discovered should allow us to make further improvements to our power infrastructure. Yay! That tells me nothing. It's just power. <laughs> power! Power! Okay, so off it goes. It's already got ex ultimate experimental pause because, yeah, because, yeah, this, just, this should work great. This, should, this is going to work great. I'm so excited. 
Now, uh, I'm a little concerned with what's in this storage hopper. This was from, oh no, no, that's fine. No, 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 this one was fine. This one was from our original setup, which we're actually gonna dismantle now because we don't need it. So great, I mean, we could still, I think we'll still keep these two things. So this is this is just a basic PCB uh, machine with some, with some hoppers in between so I can stop it and make in between stuff like coils and stuff. And this one's just a stamper. So I think we'll keep these two out, but this one we can finally get rid of. This is great, this is so awesome. Now research, I don't have to worry about it. I just click go. <laughs> Bubble was saying, in the future, I may want to build two of these labs and have them fully powered and then have them fully automated. Oh, my God. The amount of work that goes into build building this stuff is insane. Jim Bob, it's so much work, man. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. He just laughs. Now, the downside to this system, and here's here's what here's a, the first downside to this particular system. So we've got the raw ore going into... Uh, this here, which goes into the refineries, uh, we'll talk about how that's all powered in a second too. It goes into the refineries, and then it goes into three more storage hoppers, and then they go into this one storage hopper, which goes into this one storage hopper that has three sorters. So it has the advanced conveyor filter. This one's filtering out nickel. This one's filtering out titanium, and this one is filtering out gold. All that's fine and dandy except for one thing. If this, if one, if one of these gets full, like this nickel side gets full, then this system will eventually stop working because this will get full of nickel too as well. And then it'll stop sorting the titanium, and the gold. So that is the one downside to this type of system. Um, I'm working on that. I mean, this is my first iteration of this design. So, and I think it's pretty good, but like I said, because you can see these, the nickels full here, if that remains full, we're going to run into trouble. So I do have to keep making sure that I come, come, come back up here and, and clear these out every so often. Because, well, I mean, why wouldn't I anyway? But still, I mean, it's not an indefinite thing. Like, I like, I, I want to be able to set something up that's indefinite. But I, I don't know that I can even do that because storage hoppers can only hold 100 storage. As long as there's a limitation on the amount that they can store, there's nothing I can do to make this, uh, like, infinite. Eventually the system's gonna stop because eventually the system's gonna get full. There's just no other way about that. At least right now, maybe maybe I can figure out something later. Maybe there's some kind of tool that we can use later. Maybe there's a bigger storage hopper later. I have no idea. So anyway, on to the next thing. We need to figure out why gold's not coming up here. Cause we've I've had no gold going into this side. I have five gold bars, that's it. So I'm gonna go downstairs and I'll meet you down there. Just on my way down here, I just wanted to show you the crystal area. It's looking pretty cool, eh? That looks pretty cool. Looks neat with that pipe going up. Now I don't have, I also wanted to point out that I don't have the crystals going into our system yet. Um, I just wanted to be sure we had enough room for all of the ore going up. So the crystals eventually we could put into this pipe as well. We just gotta keep in mind that we can't, can't transport more than 150 pieces per minute. Now the crystal we'd have to pull out at the top before it goes into the refining system because the crystals we can't refine, right? So, and th we can use do that with the uh, this uh, the other conveyor, the basic uh, conveyor filter system. We can do it with that, I think. But anyway, so let's go down. Okay, so I think I found the problem. We're actually running out of, oh, use rendering path deferred lighting? What? What the heck? Oh, F10. <laughs> Deferred lighting, deferred shading. Oh, cool. Deferred shading. Sorry, I just hit F10 here and look, we get a, we, that's our lighting settings. Cool, I like that one. That one's, although it is very bright. Ah, I see, we can, we can make, we can lower some of that neon, <laughs> which is kind of good, but then it's, it's not as bright, I think, for you guys. I don't know, I think we'll leave it on nice and bright. So anyway, so yeah, um, I got down here and I, two things, I, we're running out of power. Um, and I, I bet you it's because, you know, if, if there's a burst of Minox, if there's a lot of Minox appearing down here, these guns are going to be working over tr overtime trying to kill them all. And then on top of that, the, the mines were empty. The mines didn't have any power in them. So I did top them up with a little bit of power while we're down here. And, uh, yeah, everything's up and running again. But here's the thing with gold. I don't know why it's just happening with gold. I wonder, I bet you it has a lot to do with the amount of Monarchs that appear on this line and the amount of Monarchs that these guns have to shoot. It makes me wonder, like, there might even be times where Monarchs have the opportunity to just sit here and, of course, eat ore, which is not good, too. So we need to do something to improve our power system or, alternatively... Well, I think we need to improve our power system. Or alternative, alternatively, we could turn uh, this line into the, the the transport pipes too, as well. In other words, the the blue pipes, because now that I've got it back up and running, we're back up to a hundred or or a hundred ore per minute. And 
Bubba was saying, yeah, we can get this up to 150 ore per minute. So that's kind of the goal. Hmm. I don't know. I think we need to improve our, our power system because look at this. We're not getting enough power running through the system at all. Like, not at all. So I'm going to work on that. I think what we need to do is improve that power node right at the top. So I'll meet you back upstairs. Okay. Yeah. So remember this, this mess, <laughs> this. So basically I understand what's going on here. So we only have two of the, the Mark one power transmitters shooting and shooting lasers downstairs. So at most we're getting 20 power per second shooting downstairs, which is not going to be enough. We've got, I've got a lot of mines down there and some of them i mean some of the, i mean thing, i think our titanium mine has what four three four five different mines as well as um then the nickel there's two different separate there's two separate whole mi nickel mines down there each with uh three four five uh, ore extractors each plus the gold mine we're gonna have to improve this so i'm going to fast forward it while i rebuild this okay there we go so we've got a full node there like i decided to do a full power node it's not pretty i don't like it quite sitting up like that but i don't know whatever it's for this, like, we need as much power as we can possibly get going downstairs because, I mean, it's only, our needs are only going to get greater. So I did a full power node, and of course, with power storage blocks two, except for on the side where I had power storage, storage blocks one, that way we've got, uh, there's tons of power going in there. It's going to be evenly going down, and I'm going to have three separate uh, beams going down, all Mark II lasers. So there's going to be a ton of power now. <laughs> that should solve our problem with our mines downstairs. So that's exciting. Now, next thing on the list is we want to build uh, yes we want to do some exploring but there's still just a couple more things that we need to do this thing here the coal enricher i've been dying to try it so it uh the convert a macerator using glands from wasp which we have we have the pristine phosphorescent glands now and give double energy from burning coal requires no resources once built just give it a little power so i have no idea how this thing works we're gonna build one i i'm gonna build a macerator first so i've got all the stuff ready to build that so one macerator also while i'm here actually i'm also going to build a couple things that we haven't built for ourselves the suit headlight <laughs> uh, we haven't built that yet and the toxic particle filter because we are going to be doing some exploring and as much as i want to see what it's like to be uh covered in poison and get hurt um i'm not going to do that <laughs> oh we don't have an r3 ba arthur battery core oh right no we've got the upgrade pack it's all good okay oh we could also get the dapper monocle <gasps> Ooh, we can give arthur a monocle okay let's see what that looks like Arthur, have you got a monocle now? Oh, you don't have a monocle. Oh yeah, he does. You can see it barely. It's not. It's not totally obvious. But it took gold to build that. There's one more thing we can build for Arthur, and that is the the hat. But it's an unknown material. We have no idea. <laughs> um, we are being attacked, of course. Um, I don't know what our threat is right now. It's probably getting up there. Be oh, thousand forty eight. <gasps> That's as high as I think I've ever had it because we've got a lot of stuff going on, like all that research stuff. Oh, what's that? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to have to put some stuff away here because, actually, I'm going to, any of the steel cutters I have on me, I'm going to put into the plasma cutter head processing. This thing is great. I've been just recycling all of my steel heads back into here, which has been fantastic. So anytime, anytime a steel head is just about dead, I put it into here and I turn it into a, into a plasma head, which has been great. So... T, perfect. And uh, is there anything we can drop off here? And then, oh, we've got the macerator. Okay, so we can, conver uh, we need the phosphorescent glands in order to use that. So let's drop that off. Let's drop that off. So we need the phosphorescent glands, which are these, I believe. Yeah, 60, six phosphorescent glands. So let's, let's go make that coal enricher and somebody was telling me about this a long time ago and I've been wanting to make it but we hadn't had we didn't have the phosphorescent glands so now that we do have it um now let's see how this thing works so we're gonna put this on bar two because that is our power stuff so we'll put that right here now I uh, okay so uh, hold on let's pick this back up <laughs> what if it says anything in help coal enricher slowly enriches coal <sighs> I love the the help is the help is really not all that helpful. Okay, so I wonder if we just put this thing right here before it gets to the pyrothermic generator, will that make the coal better then? Um wait, no, I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to put this back here. Uh we need to test it. I need to test it. So let's put the coal enricher right here. It slowly enriches coal too. It doesn't work really fast, so I don't know. And then we're going to put a storage block here we're gonna fill that up with coal perfect and does it and it uses power so we're gonna have to put uh, a power storage block here somewhere 
Uh, we'll use a power storage block two, and we'll fill that up. I don't know how much power this thing's actually going to use. Does it tell me? Uh, oh, it does. Okay, so it desires one power per second. So it's very, it doesn't use very much power at all. This thing is like barely, like hardly any power. So, and then let's just see, like, how, let's put down a conveyor so we can just see what, what it looks like. Because I've never seen this before. Um, oh, actually, we're going to have to do another storage block here. There we go. So... <clears throat> The question is, how quickly does it work, and how much power, more power can we get out of enriched coal over just regular coal? I guess is the ultimate question, right? Um, it's very, very slow. Hold on. 16 seconds. So it takes... Uh, okay, let's wait until it's done here. I want to see how long it takes to actually produce each piece. So nine seconds. It takes... I don't know. I wonder I wonder if it's really worth our time. The, somebody was talking about this at the beginning, saying, yes, it's totally worth your time. This thing is great. So we produced... We should have produced... Oh, I went back into this one. Whoops. Two unknown material. Oh. Well, it shouldn't be unknown because... Or, or do we have to research it? Okay, so we have two unknown material. Let's research it. <laughs> cool, it produced unknown material. That's awesome. Okay, research. Ah, enriched coal. Doesn't say anything else. <laughs> and then, how much power do we get out of enriched coal versus regular coal? I have no idea. So is... Oh, I'm not even sure where we put this thing. Like, do we put that down at... Uh, okay, so that's, that's the enriched coal right there. All right. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to do some experimenting with this, and s I, I need to know what the differences are. Actually, what we could do... Oh, 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 we can do that right here. We can do that right here. What we can do is we'll put a power thermic generator right here. Ah, uh, darn it. we got to build one. Hold on. <laughs> Let's build a power thermic generator. And may I want to see if there's a difference. So maybe the power thermic generator produces more. Oh, we couldn't because uh, because we're full up. That's why. Okay, so let's put this back. Let's put this back. All right, so let's grab that. Okay, let's put a power, get build a power th thermic generator for us right here. Perfect, and put that down right here. So theoretically, and any of this enriched coal that we have on us, let's put back into the system. Six T. Okay, so let's see what happens here. So a power thermic generator will normally generate uh, ten power per second. Generating 19... It doubles the power output. It doubles it. That's huge, guys. So we might need to build a few of these enriched or organic coal enrichers. But um, if we can double our power output... Oh, my God. Science. Science! Doubling the power output for science. Oh! <gasps> It's 19 power per second versus 10 power per second. Sorry, I'm just dwelling on that fact for a second. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to let it fill up this hopper. And I'm going to come back to that. I'm maybe going to make some changes here on my own. But if we can double our power output, oh my god, that is amazing. Now, like I said, we're going to need more of those pristine glands. So I do have to kind of keep track of the bad guys when they attack. But uh, yeah, that's really awesome. Oh, super cool. I, I don't even know where... They oh, they're over here. Oh, you see, we got some more stuff. Yeah. So, yeah, this stuff is really important, but I'm always out of room. I, I need to start storing stuff properly. Oops. Ah, no. Fell down a hole. Happens all the time. All the time. <laughs> okay, be right back, guys. Right. As promised, we're going to go do some exploring. I just had to clear out some inventory and move some stuff around. But holy crap, look at the moons. There's two moons. Look at them. That's the first time I've ever seen this. Look at that. That is impressive. Does that ever look beautiful? It looks like you could just go over and, you know, land on the moon like space engineers. That is incredible. Man, that looks good. Look at it's rolling. Like it's it's rotating, but it's 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 rolling. It looks like it's rolling along the planet. That is so cool. All right, guys, guess what we get to do? We're going to go do some exploring. When was the last time we did that? Like, we're going to go deep. I, I have no idea what, what we're looking for, but it's time to go, you know, go looking for stuff. <laughs> so, wait we go. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to meet you down at the bottom floor. Okay, see you then. Okay, I came all the way down here. Because, uh, you know, all the way to the very, very bottom. This is where my the, the lowest nickel mine I have is. However, um, I noticed that there's no power going into here. Like, there's we're still having power problems. I'm probably going to have to put Mark II lasers all the way down. Because not even my lift's not working. Like, nothing is working. Power zero out of 150. Yeah, this is, this is not good. 
Um, is that laser? Like, that's weird that I have a laser there. Yeah, we're going to change that around. But yeah, there's no power coming in here, so it doesn't matter. Okay, but that's not what I'm here to do right now. I'm here to dig. We're here to go exploring, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to turn on our little headlamp, and away we go. Dun, 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 dun. Now, this is, uh, this is always dangerous. <laughs> going deeper and deeper underground. So we are now at five, minus 502, 507, 514 meters now. We are going way, way, way below. And we're going to see if we can find some, maybe some new materials. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. We fell. We fell pretty hard, too. Wow. Um, how are we going to get out of here? Hold on. We fell into it. This, this always happens. So there is, I actually learned something. Um, so, you know, with your scanner, you can actually scan to see, uh, scan ping air. That will scan if there's any air around you. In other words, if you're looking for an air pocket below you or something, that should tell you that. But uh, I think if you're in an, in an area that's kind of opened up like this, if you're in an open, open cavern, whoa, this is bizarre. This must be a toxic cavern. This must be like a new layer. Okay, so... Uh, we know how to get out of here. Let's just make sure that's well marked. <laughs> so right in here. And actually what we could do, what we could do actually, just to make life even easier. I don't know if we have that material on us. So let's let's just grab a material. Let's see, what, what can we use for material here? Let's use something that we have a lot of, like, <laughs> like rough hewn rock. We have 4K of it. So I'm just going to build a pillar here. I'm going to go five, hold down control, and then build a pillar. That way, it's just really easy to see the way out, right? I really like that. I like that idea. Let's put that right here. Awesome. And then we'll put some lights on this, too. Because I don't want to get lost. And who knows what we're going to run it, run into down here. I mean, I knew there was going to be a toxic area, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be a cavern or, or what. Is this just more crystal? Oh, no, it's titanium. Okay, sorry. Uh, hmm. These plants, are these new plants? Huh. I'm not even sure where the base of the plant is. Hold on. Oh, darn it. Collecting, I collected the plant. I didn't really mean to do that. So this must be a different kind of plant too. So we're gonna get a ton of research points. I hope there's actually a reason to have all these research points. I mean, later on maybe, I mean, there's been the occasional thing where we've needed research points now, but I mean, most of our research is actually done in the lab. And I think we can even, I think we can even research the the stuff that we get in the lab too as well. Like the plants and stuff and blocks. If we bring it back, I think we can actually throw it into the machine. <laughs> like in our big lab. Um, I've got that one. No, no, that's a rescan. So, oh, what's that over there? That looks different. Uh, we just gotta make sure that we keep track of where we are. This looks different. So it looks like the same kinds of plants that we found in the cold zone, but yeah, this is now the toxic area. Unknown block, perfect. Wow, we're gonna get a ton, a ton of points here. Actually, let's do a quick scan for unknown. Oh, 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 whoa, unknown. Hello, unknown. This one should be easier to get to. That one looks like it's... Uh, let's make sure that we're marking our path to as well, like breadcrumbs, because, uh, yeah, that would be really bad if we lost our way. Oh! Is that... Is this like... Oh! This is like another kind of material. <gasps> Could this be tier 3? Wow, this was super easy to get to tier 3. <laughs> Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't hard at all to get to tier 3, so if this is tier 3 stuff, I'm assuming it is. Uh, that's just more titanium. Okay, so we got to get up there, but before we do that, let's just make sure that we put some light on our way up, and then I guess we'll grapple up there. I guess, or can we actually can we actually scan that from here? Toxic cavern stone. Okay, no, we've already had that. Already scanned that before. So let's do another ping unknown. Ah, here we go. So let's just that might even be the same kind of crystally stuff that we just saw too as well. I know, I know there's materials right up to tier, well, actually, I think the developer's putting in tier four right now, I think. I, I think that'll be out, like, very, very soon. So that's exciting. Um, do another scan. Ah, we're, we're nice and close. We might as well just, uh, oh, there we go. Aha! Uh, oh, this is the same one. So it's the same crystally one we've already scanned. Okay. Hmm. Let's just take an, let's just do another little bit of looking around. I love the exploring part of this game. But I'm not as afraid as I used to be. I mean, I found a couple critters that will, you know, chew on me. And by the way, that uh, that camel, the camel bot will chew on you. That looks like it's gold. Yeah, that's gold. 
The camel bot will. Whoa. Okay. This is this is a really deep deep chasm here. Okay. Let's let's mark our our path. <laughs> uh, ooh. This looks like fun. Okay. So we're gonna just carefully uh, just also checking on the. Oh, that looks like it's probably iron. No, that's gold still. Okay. I have lots and lots and lots of lights, so there's no worry about us running out of light. Yeah, this nice, this nice safe way down. We could have just fallen, but uh, that looks like it's gold. Lots of gold down here, holy crap. But we have a ton of gold, unless there's gonna be like more uses for gold. Oh, well, let's just scan unknown. Uh, there's something over there. I bet you that's more of that same crystal-y stuff. There's also, there's like little chunks of stuff all over the place here. Hold on, let's go back up here. Hmm. Whoops. Ah, there we go. So let's make sure we're marking our way. Good. Same stuff. So maybe we should go. We should go. Res we should go scan this or go bring this stuff to the research station or the lab, and then. And then come back. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Okay, talk to you in a second, guys. Okay, guys, I'm on my way back, and I'm, the base is actually taking damage. So, <laughs> um, we're gonna have to deal with that right away. Oh, man. There's not enough power going down there. I, I don't know why. Okay, wow. Uh, mm, just lots of them, I guess. Lots of bugs. I mean, I'm not surprised. I I'm, I'm, wouldn't be surprised if we started to see something different start to appear, too, as well. Look at them all coming up. Look at how high they're up. They're coming up over the mountain. I, I wonder what would happen if we destroyed that beastie thing, that nest, the hive mind, whatever it was. So if we destroyed that hive mind, would they stop coming? Yeah, this is this is getting pretty intense. What is our what is our uh, our threat now? Must be just going through the roof. So threat oh nine thirty five. I mean I, I've seen it. I've seen it worse. We saw it worse this episode. Wow, look at them all. This is insane, guys. There's so many, we're definitely gonna have to beef up. We're gonna have to beef up our power and add more guns again, or at least our power, because I think we're just running out of power. This is this is madness. Look at them all. They're everywhere. There's tons of them. <laughs> Dude, die. And some of them are taking a lot of damage too. There's so many. So that's the thing, the toxic zone that we we're just in. Now, I'm sure it would have been a little bit more exciting had I not picked up that toxic, that little piece of equipment that we have that protects us from toxic environments. If we hadn't picked that up, that definitely would have been more exciting. <laughs> but I didn't really feel like having to deal with that. You know, I mean, kind of makes sense. Why would I want to deal with that if I don't have to, right? Yeah, so before I go, um, we're gonna research what we've got here. Oh, unknown materials. So these are all the plants, the toxic cavern flora, toxic cavern flora two, <laughs> toxic cavern flora one, toxic cavern flora three, and toxic cavern flora six. Now this one, oh no, ah, uh, we need 1,050, okay, there we go. Biomass, biomass growth. So is that is that a new material? Can we mine that material? I'm assuming we can mine it. <gasps> so, Unless, unless I run into trouble, I will just go and try and mine it on my own. If I do run into trouble, I will share with you guys on the next episode what I ran into. But yeah, so I think that is tier three. Tier three resources, guys. We are making huge progress now. And uh, in this episode, we've, well, we've done, we've done some research. But you see how it's actually, it's working through all of it at the same time. So we started off with simplified, basic, and experimental. Sorry, base, simplified, basic, experimental pods. Both of those were at 50, and then we had uh, 25 ex uh, ultimate experimental pods. So it's actually working through all of it at the same time. And guess what? I haven't had to manually feed anything. Man, that is good. So if you're playing this game, I highly recommend automating your research system because it has been an, an absolutely wonderful thing. Even in one episode, we've come, I mean, we've, we've almost, I mean, we researched half of something and we haven't done any more work, but it did take a fair amount of time to get Get that all put together guys i hope you have an excellent friday i can't believe it's friday already oh it's so exciting but i hope you have a really good friday and we're gonna see you again probably probably monday uh i don't know i don't generally record too much on the weekend so anyway have an awesome weekend guys and uh yeah i hope you're enjoying the series still because i love this game so much i play so much i play way too much i must be already approaching 100 hours on this game can you believe that I'm, I, I bet you I'm already at 100 hours, if not more. 
that's crazy. Absolutely insane. Not on this particular game, but like not on this actual playthrough, the save, but on the game itself, I'm sure I've had at least 100 hours in this game already. And I've only owned it for like, what? A month and a half? Like, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like, that is another part-time job. That's almost another full-time job. Wow. Okay, guys, I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you on Monday. All right, take care.